cherry. Aged cherry, this very old cherry. That's the color cherry gets after years of patina ink. It's a beautiful wood. Cherry is a beautiful wood. I'm just saying cherry is one of my, do you like cherry? I'm an oak person, be honest. I like, oh. I like defined grain. Oak reminds me of cabinetry in the 1990s. Yeah, I mean, you, know this, you know the show, Home Improvement, Family Matters, fucking the one, you know the one. <laughs> Back in the 90s, everyone had oak cabinetry. Like, oak makes me think of the 1990s. Unfortunately, oak makes me think of courthouses. <laughs> Different childhood. Yeah. Different childhood. <laughs> We're gonna talk about stain today. We're talk a lot about stain and stain problems. 50% of modular game table backers got espresso. Okay? We have two problems. A, we hate doing it. B, we might not be able to get stain anymore. The whole idea is we are gonna be offering our MGT backers a free upgrade to Cherry. So if they want to step away from Espresso and upgrade to Cherry, they potentially may get a table that they may have wanted but didn't get for price reasons. And if they wanna to upgrade to Black Walnut, we're gonna give them a discount because we are sometimes not able to get the stain that we've been using because the world has gone to shift. Basically, we're gonna do everything we can to shift espresso demand into cherry demand or black walnut demand because that will increase our throughput, help us avoid supply chain snafus, and generally make everybody happier. Because everybody here hates espresso, everybody. All right, Josh, let's go stain. Show us how to stain. Josh, can we talk about why the espresso is so dark? It was like a whole sad story about why the espresso runs as dark as it does now. Explain a five, and then I'll jump in. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, so it's, so it, it, it but, uh, but yeah. Ashley, do you like staining? Do you have any opinion on staining? I like it, I don't mind it. Just getting the color consistent. And sometimes it can range for how it's sanded or what kind of wood it is, if it's the maple or if it's the cherry. So they have stain samples in front of them as they stain to make sure that they're always hitting exactly this color. I'm just getting the excess stain off. If they wipe too much, yes. it actually lightens the color because you're wiping the stain out. And if you don't wipe enough, it's too dark. So you're kind of damned if you do, yeah. damned if you don't. You just have to be perfect every time. And by the way, this is a modular product that they could get parts from any time period. See, what makes stain work in normal furniture is the fact they get the furniture all at once. So you can make sure that it's stained consistently the whole piece and then they get one piece. So on a stained product, your sanding consistency is super important. So basically all you're doing when you sand is you're just creating an even scratch pattern. So the finer grit you go, the smaller the scratches. With stain, stain picks up every single one of those scratches and basically highlights them. So what, what that basically means is it's super hard to touch up because you can't just spot sand. So anytime we have to touch up, we basically have to go and freshen up the entire board. Now with natural, natural doesn't have the stain to highlight your scratches. It's surprising how much natural hides. We've essentially taken away the natural beauty of the wood. It's black. You know, cherry has all your mineral streaking and pitch pockets, which looks beautiful. And it just adds that natural flow to the wood or something like this. Anyway, let's go. Josh, I'm gonna abandon you. Cool. We're gonna talk about how terrible espresso is at scuffing. So after it gets stained, whether it's stained or natural, natural goes wood, seal coat, scuff, top coat. Stain goes through the same thing, only there's an extra staining step. So it goes wood, stain, seal coat, scuff the seal coat, top coat. Because if you just, you'll sand the stain off. So you gotta seal it to seal the stain in. I've been working alongside Lynette for a couple days now. Lynette's a superstar. Explain what you're doing. Okay, so I'm scuffing, and then anything that burns through, we gotta color them in. Basically, we're just making it smooth, getting the rough edges off, so that when the top coat goes on, it looks nice. 
finished. Exactly. The finished product. Quality of the scuff dictates the smoothness of the top coat. A bad scuff is a bad top coat. How much do you hate espresso? Would have passed it, <laughs> but I will master it because as much as I hate it, I just want to get through it. <laughs> Good attitude. How happy would this make you? Half the espresso was instead cherry and black walnut. That would make us very happy and we would appreciate the fact that they upgraded. <laughs> See, oh, this is it. Burn through. Burn through. Very slight, but every bit counts. So whenever there's burn through, Lynette has to go through and then touch up with coloring. We make it disappear, how about that? All right, thank you, that was awesome. We're on our quest. We're gonna go to Tech Ariana. So after scuff, it goes into top coat, and then it comes out of top coat, and it's nice and smooth and perfect because Lynette did a great job. After top coat, it goes to our QA department. That's where they inspect every piece that's coming out and they touch up. And I think they hate espresso too. I have a question for you. Why do you hate QCing espresso more than say clear coat natural woods? Because it's really easy to burn through. Things like that, customers don't like. That right there is a pitch pocket. That pitch pocket on natural, you can't see it. It's just natural. But on espresso, every blemish shows through. No, that's it. You want it to look natural, but it doesn't. Do you think that Wormwood should offer a free upgrade from espresso to cherry? To encourage people to use, get cherry instead of espresso? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> That'd be nice. Cherry's better anyway. Thank you! Because cherry is one of those woods that ages over time. This is aged cherry. It's very nice. Let's say you had an espresso table on order and you were given the option to get a free upgrade to cherry or you could get black walnut at a discount. What would you guys do? Which I, I personally would, would go for the cherry. I'm, I'm just, I like the cherry, cherry wood. Yes. In theory, if I had the extra money, I'd go with the black walnut, but same, I'd go with the free option. I would say either one. I wouldn't do espresso because you notice more. If I own this and had kids or anything, it, it's easier, I feel like, to notice things than it would be the other two. And you actually want to know the real kick in the pants on the espresso is we are running out of stain. It's getting harder and harder to get the stain due to supply chain issues. It's like we have plenty of cherry, the cherry trees are still growing. It's like you soak oil into your into your tape. Just think about that. You're literally soaking. No, think about that. I mean, I think people that don't take the upgrade hate the environment. I'll just say it. You were all thinking it. I definitely was. <laughs> we are now. <laughs> Finishing. Rich, tell me about ordering finish pre-pandemic and what it's been like after the pandemic. Pre-pandemic, if we would need something, I could get it probably the next day. Now it's three, four weeks, sometimes two months. I've ordered seal from a certain company, won't name names. Good name, is it Sherwin-Williams? Sherwin-Williams. There we go, throw Please. the shade, throw the fuck these Sherwin-Williams. You claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. Stain is no. one more thing. It's is a problem and it's going to be a bigger problem because of the supply. Nobody wants to work anymore, goddammit. <laughs> and people are going, well, I this got is no, get this, get this, I get got this. no guys to work in the shop so I can't make a product. So everyone's like, well, I told you when we did this, you sure you want to go with this color? No, go ahead. You and your boy go Jason. Ahead. Go ahead. Oh, that's something we got to do. Let's granted, you guys were right that it was a high seller for us, but now it's biting us in the ass. So I told you not to go espresso, but you, you didn't did. listen. Thank you. And you also told Jason. Yes, I did tell Jason, but he don't listen to me. Even though we got the same haircut, he don't listen to me. Hey, this could work out for the backers though. Free upgrade to Cherry. Hello. Oh, I would do that. Yeah? Hell yeah. Okay. If I, you told me that I'm not going to get my product when you say we're going to get it, and I could be pushed back even farther, but I can get a free upgrade. Yep. Yeah. Hello. Hey. <laughs> it's stupid. It's stupid that we offered it. The espresso? Why is it stupid that we offer espresso? The whole point of like the company is like natural wood, old world craftsmanship, like clear coat and oil to let the natural wood speak for itself. And then like the biggest project we did, we were like, we're just gonna paint it if you want. People like dark woods. I know. That's what it is. People like it dark. They just like dark. Once you go dark, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's where it's at.